Uh, but for how long? Welcome, everybody. It's Coach V. Allow me to put the camera on the tripod. As always, the connection can be a little spotty up here in the mountains. I know last week I ended up just making that video unlisted because the quality was so bad. So I'd apologize for that, but I don't know what I did. Hey, today, you there? Sign in. We're going to do about five deep stretches. I'm a little tight. I woke up this morning and I picked Dane up from the bed and my back kind of went, uh, cause I have not been stretching like I should lately. So let's do some deep stretches. I went down the hill and I taught my class power yoga core. It was fantastic fun. And I'm excited to be here with you. Uh, you checking in. Hello, Sean. Hi, Matt. Are these the note? Look at the notes right here. Look at those notes. Uh, we're doing these live workouts every, just Tuesdays now. I can't do Thursday anymore. Time constraints. So only Tuesdays, uh, we'll do at least one more next week, but I figure with these live workouts on YouTube, they'll kind of be spontaneous off the cuff. I'll do announcements on my social media. So make sure you're always following that at Sean Veig or Sean Veig fitness. And I'll let you know when I'm doing those because all my, all my new videos, new filmings are all going in Sean's vault at Sean's vault.com. Check that out free for 14 days at Sean's vault.com. Did I say that all right? All right, let's get over to the mat. What am I doing? Get your mat down, get comfortable. We're going to take some deep breaths here, a lot of deep breathing to, oh, let me fix that camera. And these live videos, remember, they always upload to the channel afterwards. So you can do them anytime, any place, anytime. Oh, I have a question for you before we start. As I'm working on this new book, Pilates for Athletes, I wrote it down here. Comment below with this. What is your favorite sport and which exercise slash stretch do you use the most to help you with that sport? Just one exercise or stretch because I'm, I'm going to start writing the training log today for the book. And that's covering about 20 different sports. And I like to give a little intro why. Uh, what the sport is, what it entails, and why you need Pilates, what Pilates will do for you, and then give you a list of exercises to start with right now. So what is your favorite sport, and which exercise do you use for that sport? Okay, let's shake it out. Mm, another beautiful day in the mountains. Uh, 71 right now. Again, it's a, a yin style. Yin style. Yin is a style of yoga with long stretches. You hold them for a long time, really addressing ligaments and tendons, connective tissue, and the muscles too. They have to be in there. Let's begin with the seated twist. Uh, uh, let's take the left foot forward or left leg forward. Right foot goes across. Let's sit up tall, shoulders sinking down and back, chest is open. If you're just joining us, welcome. Roll down your mat, unroll your mat and join us. Now we're going to twist the upper body to the right. Take the right hand down. This this uh, left arm can be back here or place it on the uh, outside of the leg. With the exhale, we're gonna we're gonna twist. With the inhale, you're gonna lift. So it's a whole process of rotational power while you're decreasing the tension in your shoulders and expanding your chest. Let's breathe in the nose, out the nose. Did my oh they're right here. That they fell through the through the deck. I was thinking, do I remember all the stretches? I think I do. Let's drop that shoulder. Roll this this uh, right shoulder back. So you're adding to the twist. Let's do five more breaths. We want to dig into this rotational area down here. As I said, I woke up this morning. It's a little tight in the back, usually around the shoulder blade. Hasn't happened in a while, but. I've really been filming a lot for my vault, the live workouts, doing a lot of workouts on my own, spending a lot of time with my son, which is fantastic. It involves a lot of crawling and lifting and um, not wrestling with him yet. He's still a little too young for that. I want to, though. That's the dad in me. I'm like, come on, let's go wrestle. Let's go, uh, let's go run through the woods or something, climb some trees. Mm, uh, but he's doing very well, four and a half months old. All right, feel that twist, lifting as you twist. Let's go to the other side, quick shake out. Whew, keep those shoulders down and back, always expanding the chest. 
as my dear dad would say, that's what I always say. All right, twist to the other side. Right leg forward, left foot across, let's twist. And I have my AirPod in so you can hear me even if I face away from the camera. Dropping the shoulders. Each exhale, let's twist. Inhale, lift tall. And remember, you're rotating from down here. Your arms are helping you, of course, but it always emanates from right in the center. Very nice. I got a great view of the direct TV dish. Very inspiring. That's how I get TCM, my favorite channel. It's pretty much the only channel I watch. Mm. Two more breaths. I'm starting to sound like my son. And we have the hummingbird feeder, so maybe we'll get a special guest appearance from a hummingbird. Good. Did you uh, get any adjustments, any cavitations in the spine? All right. Shake it out. You're just joining us. Come on in. It's like I'm in a yoga studio. Just walk on in, unroll your mat, and join us. The next one is pigeon. Oh, you knew pigeon uh, was going to be here, of course. <sighs> hip opener. Stretching the glutes, the hip flexors. Bring the right knee forward. Slide the left leg back. We're going to focus of course, where's the sun? There it is. Focus on sliding that left leg back. You can walk this right foot forward, opening up the leg, the hip. You're right over the center. Sit tall first. A little rock side to side. And we're, we're still alive. That's great. Last week, oh man, took about four tries and then that was all blurry. So if I'm blurry now, I apologize. I'm not normally blurry in person. Now come forward. If you like, you can cross the arms here. It's a knot pose, K-N-O-T, or just place the forearms or hands down. All right, let's breathe. Relax into it. You don't have to supply any extra force to it. You have gravity and body weight and breath all working on your side. Use it. <sighs> Do three more breaths. With this knot pose, you feel a huge explosion in your upper back, your rear deltoids getting some movement, opening up the shoulder blades, bringing them away from each other. This is actually the stretch I thought about when I was feeling a little tight earlier. I was thinking, I want to do this with them. <sighs> Okay, good. Pigeon, good. Lift up, back bend, get that lift. That's nice. All right, other side. Switch it, shake out this, the legs if you need to. Use the right process getting into the pigeon. Sliding that right leg back. Square also. Try not to open this way. That's a different stretch. This is a different stretch. Keep it square, sliding back, lifting tall. Ah, are you there? Are you out there? All right. I get to enjoy some of my backyard. Now forward, pigeon or not pose if you like. Which way did I do last time? I think it was do the opposite if you can remember. I think this is what I the opposite of what I did. And use your body weight. You have those pounds there. Use them to your advantage to open up this pose to keep extending and lengthening. Mm -hmm. And uh, my latest book, Pilates for Athletes, I, have, I am including a lot of stretches in there for warm-ups and cool-downs. Pigeon is in there because they are vital, vital for optimum athletic performance. You have to put those in there. Because Pilates is about dynamic movement, always changing. It's moving parts. And a lot of yoga poses, you could just relax into them to reap the benefits. Two more breaths. So if anyone ever tells you that yoga and Pilates don't play well together, they're insane. It is remarkable what they can do together. Okay. 
All right. Camel pose. Am I nuts? Camel. I'm going to do a little variation on the camel. You can sit cross-legged if you like. If you want to do the full camel, you would come up here onto your knees and place the hands here, hands on the heels. I'm not going to do that myself, but uh, you're welcome to do that if you want. I'm going to come here. I'm going to just take the hands back. It uh, it, uh, looks like a pretty casual move, but very effective. Keep the knees about hip width so you're stretching the quads. You can also bring the forearms down. Oh, let your tummy pooch out also. Let it pooch out. It means you're breathing properly. You're not sending the breath into these shallow areas up here. You're going down here. Let me get on the mat. By the way, this is the man flow yoga mat uh, from my friend Dean Pullman. We've done a few collaborations together. He's out of Texas. Oh, and he was kind enough to send me this mat. I very much enjoy it. You can go to manflowyoga.com slash mat and check it out. All right. Drop the head back. Five breaths. Uh, relax your jaw. I learned uh, so much as a professional singer, actor, sometimes dancer. I learned so much. I should do full podcasts just about lessons I learned. But a big one is that there does indeed exist facial and throat tension. There's so much tension in your face and your throat. So you, you want to relax it. Maybe you're relaxing your shoulders, but you're still clenching your teeth and causing all this tension in the uh, jaw, the forehead. And that just permeates. It spreads. It's always spreading. And you do it enough, and it, it's not noticeable anymore. It becomes part of who you are. So you're actually walking around all day doing these things, and you have no idea you're doing them. And it's only ugh, deadening your body. Okay, let's finish with the frog. If you're still out there, God bless you. Hey, shake out the legs. This is a, I'm going to actually turn slightly so I can keep my knees on the mat. This is a, kind of a child's pose with, with your knees are going to keep going wider and wider. I'm going to start here. You can have the forearms down or take the arms all the way forward. Let's hold it for 10 breaths. <laughs> Got a little too close to the, the uh, deck here. Hopefully a big spider will come out and say hi. As you exhale, let those knees relax. Let the hips relax. One of the greatest gifts you can give to yourself is to get out of your own way. So breathe. Let your body relax naturally. Deep breathing in the nose, out the nose. And as I'm, I get the wonderful opportunity to moon my yard. Mm. Five more breaths. There we are. Again, as I mentioned, uh, no more Thursday live classes. Um, I'll probably do a Tuesday next week. Then I'm not sure. But stay updated with me. Uh, I'll post on YouTube. In the community, I also post on my Instagram page. That's at Sean Vig Fitness. So always go there. And I'll let you know if we're going to do a live workout or Facebook at Sean Vig. Uh. Well, now I'm relaxed. <laughs> okay. There you go, my friends. Let's bring it up. Take it slow. Don't, don't let anything disturb this wonderful flexibility and mobility training you've done. Take as much time afterwards to stay out of any tension. Stay away from people that make you tense. Go take a nice bath or something. Go for a walk. And that's it. You checked in below. As I asked at the beginning, uh, what is your favorite sport and which exercise slash stretch do you use the most to help you with that sport? I asked that because I'm beginning work later today on my book on the training logs about 20 sports in there and i'm always 
I always love to hear what people use for which sports. I, I play a lot of sports or I have played a lot of sports, but uh, my interaction with athletes, uh, it's, I, I still have athletes that I train locally, but it's not as many as I had when I was in Florida. I guess athletes that play a, a certain sport professionally or are, are constantly practicing. Let me put that on. Uh, let's see. Hi, Sean. Love your Pilates snake exercise. Wonder why one hand slightly behind the other. Thank you. Pilates snake. I can't. Let me see here. I just, I, actually, I just taught that somewhere. Well, here, let's see. See, pop up, you go down and then back. What happens? Well, see, if you put both hands here, you have to rotate out this. You just go right up. I think here, if you're going to lift, it's much more of a turn. See, I come from a big yoga background. So when I do that, I agree with you also. I want to put my hands, when I first did it, I would put them right uh, next to each other. But Joseph Pilates, in his wisdom, wanted you to be able to do this and then down as opposed to, I don't know. That's a good question because I had to learn that one. I just learned it because that's how Pilates taught it. Let's see here. Thank, oh, it just drifts away, these comments. But some things, you know, Pilates, had, he invented his own his own program. Everything was his. So that's the way he wanted to do it. There's a few exercises from the classic routine that he does that I'm not a huge fan of. Hi, Sean. Hi, Ann. Uh, neck pulls. You won't see that in any of my books or my workouts. I always take neck pull out and replace it with some other kind of roll-up that's not as caustic. Do you ever practice Ashtanga? Uh, I have never taken a quote on Ashtanga class, but I've done a lot of uh, that style, a lot of flows from Ashtanga, and uh, I like the primary series. You promised to be here for August. Well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I'll be here as much as I can. The schedule is shifting a little bit um, with with the the Daner and the Addy and stuff. So I'll you know I'll be here as much as I can. But you can always get me in Sean's vault. Also, I'm looking over at the. Don't make me take this out again, but I want to get as many of you over to try it out. There's over a thousand workouts in there now at seansvault.com. And I'm filming all sorts of new challenges for that. Um, as I said, doing a lot, lot, lot less on YouTube. On YouTube, I want to do some live workouts now and then. And uh, I have some collaborations coming up with a few people I'm sure you know. And maybe some more experimental videos, some shorter ones, but the big ones are going in the vault, the ones that I'm filming. And that's that's that. One more next week. Okay, and my birthday's next week, too. So we'll do one for my birthday, maybe. Random questions. What's the best workout to do ridding lower back butt fat? Uh, well, as a trainer, I always have to say, we always say you can't spot reduce. You can't point to a certain section on your body and say, I want to lose weight there. Uh, people genetically can carry weight in different areas and such. Um, I don't know. It's th those are those are big questions. Uh, do you have a trainer? I'd recommend work with a trainer and have them do all this. Uh, look at you, give you a fitness test, and they and you know, ask them these questions. I'm not a dietitian. I have my own diet that I use pretty consistently, but I would never push that on somebody. Uh, happy birthday, early. Thank you. Um, as far as uh, calorie burning in the in the fitness world is HIT workouts, high intensity interval training, that short burst training. You could type in on YouTube Sean V HIT or Sean V Cardio, Sean V Tabata, and you will find a whole bunch of workouts like that. Hi, hello, where you can uh, do four to ten minutes of exercise a day, and it's really intense. It's intervals, twenty seconds on, twenty seconds off, very effective. That's as far as what I can tell you about burning calories. That's a good one. But you can't spot reduce. Talk to a trainer. What's the best way to get flexible faster? Well, I never say try to do something fast. Um, if you want anything in life, you have to be consistent with it and smart about it. If you want to get flexible or you want your body to you know, move better, stretch every day. Do five to ten minutes change it up, do stretches that, that feel good, that, that you have really good form. Uh, but consistency is best, not overdoing it, of course, but consistency will always help. I have been alternating hit and body weight workouts. Good. 
Um, weight training too. Strength training also can burn calories. Very effective for bone density. Oh, there's a big one. Thanks for answering, bro. I practice with you once a bit. Your practice transfer. Awesome. <laughs> I have about five seconds to read that. Uh, I could read pretty fast. Uh, cross training is a huge one. I'd say cross training, do body weight training, do strength training, uh, pop into some classes, different, uh, how often do you guys, do you do gym workouts in combination? I love going to the gym. I just worked out right after I taught this morning. I do gym workouts probably three times a week. I love going down there. I just like being down there. Uh, if I'm with the Daner for about five or six hours, then Jilly will come home and like, okay, I'm going to go down to Nick's for a while and work out. So that's it. Mainly strength training, but of course I toss other things in there. Uh, two words, battle rope. Get a battle rope, find one, and do some exercises on it. No MP, no problem. Is that no problem? Or is that North Platte, Nebraska? Am I good at this? There's so many things flashing on the screen. I don't want to lose my train of thought. I feel like Frank Costanza sometimes. I, I, I lost my train of thought. Festivus right there. Uh, mm. It's no problem. Gotcha. Scott one. Oh. Uh, but yeah, cross trading. You're good at this. Thanks. <laughs> it's I'm flying all over, and the whole time I'm I'm looking at myself in the uh, in the camera, which throws me off. I like to look at myself sometimes, but you know I'm talking. I know six, six what? Well, what are we talking about, Eric? Sorry, we got about twenty conversations going. I know. Eric. Okay, good. Who's Eric? My best friend growing up was Eric. That was in Wisconsin. By the way, much less humidity here than in Wisconsin. Question, I've been getting numbness and dizziness with some of the... Oh, it faded. Uh, well, anytime, yeah. So numbness and dizziness. Uh, dizziness could be for a lot of reasons. I don't want to diagnose those things, but make sure you're you're getting enough hydration. You're not overdoing it. When you're breathing a lot, what's your favorite back stretch? We'll get to that in a second. And um, yeah, dizziness is usually some kind of, it maybe too hot over training, but definitely look at that pull back when you need to, modify when you need to. Numbness, lack of circulation, stuff like that. If something like that persists, you know, you, you could always uh, talk to somebody about that. Uh, I don't want to give, again, I don't want to give you advice on that. <clears throat> I can just tell you what, what I go through. Favorite back stretch. I just filmed actually a workout yesterday. It was back stuff. Child's pose, you can't go wrong with child's pose. Love that. Another one, if you have a pull-up bar or just stairs, you could grab onto. I do that at the house a lot. I grab on and I and I just hold for a while, stretching the my shoulders and my rhomboids and my lower back. And if I'm holding on to the pull-up bar, I walk my feet back so my tippy toes are on the mat. And I'm getting a back bend. And then that's really nice. Then I do little little twists. I do little dips, which stretches right down the lats into the obliques, all the way down into the feet. And I go back and forth. That's a good one. Message retracted. Uh Oh, I don't know what that meant. Um, (laughs) And uh, sometimes you get a little adjustment on that. But I've learned that just because you get an adjustment doesn't mean that's great. I don't want to go for just uh, cavitations and adjustments. You want to hold on for at least 30 to 60 seconds and let it really set in because the first 20 seconds, you'll realize you're still holding tension. You're probably prohibiting that stretch from really taking off. So you relax, you relax, you relax. I'm a big proponent of releasing into the stretch, release into your exercises. Even if it's burpees, release into the burpees. Don't come into the burpees and try to punch the hell out of them because you will burn yourself out. I taught hundreds of spinning classes in Florida, and there used to be this guy that would come to them. He would be right in the front, right in front of me, And he would kill himself the first 10, 20 minutes of the class, even if we weren't doing that. We might have been doing a more medium ride or a medium climb, and he was just going nuts. Second half of the class, he was wasted. He was just drooling all over his bike, probably uh, (laughs) letting bodily gases come out because he had nothing left. He had blown everything in the tank. That's such a fine line. I think about 90% of us probably overtrain anyway. Got to pull back. Wisconsin or Colorado? This is Colorado. Pine trees. Wisconsin has more of the oaks, the elms. If you go back about two videos ago, three videos ago, you'll see Wisconsin. I'm out in a field uh, in all its glory, and you'll see me doing this a lot. Not because I have a twitch, but there's gnats. 
and there's all sorts of bugs there and and going whoo it's really humid out because it's very humid there but i hope to go back to wisconsin in october to see my mama we have a good time we have a good time and i get on my sister's beach cruiser bike out to a field or to a park and put down the tripod and the camera and i can film what a what a what special moments those are um Oh, that's my Volt shirt. Any more questions? Anything? Uh, hey, that's Darren. Darren Wagner, famous writer. I've known Darren since first grade. We might have met at Barnes & Noble twice when I was home. So if you want to know more about me, you talk to him. He, know, he knows all the stuff, a lot of the stuff. Darren and I were just talking because 30 years ago last month, Batman debuted. The Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, Batman, Tim Burton, 1989, June, or June 89, and he and I biked over to the mall to watch that. What stretch exercise do you recommend for high kicks? High kicks, that's a good one. Well, definitely something that would uh, release your hip flexors, your release uh, your hip uh, stretchers, hip stretchers. <laughs> high kicks. Pigeon. Pigeon is fantastic for that, especially that back leg. I would say you want to really get something here. Do pigeon. This hand down or forearm, reach back with the other hand, grab the toes on the top and gently with the exhales, twist and pull. Twist and pull. So you're getting your hip flexors, your quads, and your lower back. Oh, that's that's nice. Also, there's a yoga stretch. Can you see me? This is what I like about live because actually I can demonstrate things. Yoga stretch, head to knee. Yeah, you can see me. Take your fingers around the bottom foot and extend out. Now relax the shoulders. You're going to keep lifting this leg and draw the nose towards the knee. If you get better with that, you just grab the outside and lift up also because a kick is a kick. A kick is very uh, ballistic. It's explosive. But if you can get a hold in there, a long hold, very effective. Yes. That's a great question. Because I could give you like 50 stretches, but that's a good one. Hi, Sean. How to strengthen hips? Uh, what, hip flexors, you mean, or hips? Um, you know, kicks are really good. That guy just mentioned that. But if you can see, no, I can't. Okay, let's go back. I do this in my live classes, too. So we run back and forth. Take your hand against a wall, something, do kicks, back and forth. Hand on the hip. Inhale up, exhale back. It's like something you do in the bar and ballet, but it's that dynamic movement, that ballistic movement that really warms up. And on the back, you're also, you're working your glutes and your lower back and a lot of balance. That's a great one. Working hip flexors and getting your energy going too. blood flow. Oh, something just popped off of there. Uh, um, butterfly stretches, hip sets with the the bottoms of the feet together, fantastic, where you can rock forward, stretching the hips, the frog stretch, the pigeon straddle stretch. But always make sure you're also compensating because these are hinges mostly. We live in a world of hinging. Houses have hinges all over them. So make sure you're always compensating. If you're going to come forward here for a little bit, make sure you go back here for the same amount of time. Because if not, and I know people, I've worked with people like this, they, they're perpetually moving like this they're hunched forward and they they don't know it. you just want to go <laughs> straighten them back up and know that happens sitting a lot if you're looking at a computer screen or a phone oh the phone's the worst say this blue croc is a phone um we all have cell phones we look at them but this is uh, this is death right here this will kill you over time it'll shorten your life you'll have major back problems remember your yoga, your Pilates, remember my voice, shoulders back and down. I say that to my mom all the time, like mom, shoulders back and down. Look at it like this. Not this, this, oh man, this is life. This is death right here. Especially younger people. Well, a lot of people are younger than me, but <laughs> like, oh man, you should be out running around, having fun. What, what are you doing on that phone? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Some things flashed on the screen. I just I just can't see them right now. I think I'll go in and take a little snooze. Uh, our nanny's here with, with Dane right now. And then I take over at one. Pigeon is great for walkers. Yeah. 
Yeah, I uh, last few months I've been having some issues with my right leg. Actually, that's been going on for 15 years off and on. It gets tight. And what I noticed is that I turn out. My right leg turns out all the time. So I've been working on that. But but I don't have the strength and shoulders. I am 51. Push-ups. Push-ups. Let's see. How to get into push-ups. Do you do wall push-ups? Get yourself a wall. Take your feet back just a little bit and go and press back. Against a wall. Great way to work up to it. It's kind of like pull-ups with straps or with a stool. So wall push-ups are a great way to do that. <clears throat> Planks are a great way to strengthen your, your chest and your shoulders. Never thought about the wall. Good. I just popped in my head. Uh, I, and, you know, modified planks right here. You can do a little back and forth movement. Because you're always building. And you're, you're looking for ways always to bring more fresh blood and oxygen and nutrients throughout your body into the into the muscles. No one ever said, you know, I felt awful when I had great circulation. Now that I have bad circulation, I feel great. It doesn't work that way. So you're always working at getting more mobility, shoulders, chest. Also for push-ups, give yourself some mudras. Open up these, these areas too, because if you're hunched over like this, these are going to atrophy. You're not even using them. They're slunched over and you're pushing into your back. If you're sitting up tall, they're engaged, they're firing, they're in the proper place, and you'll move much better. Any suggestions for a weak neck? Uh, stretch right here, hands to the back of the head, press back. Something I've actually been working on, I do this in the shower. I do this back about five times, then I take my fingers and I traction, I press all the way up through the back of my head and go back because my head was slunching forward a lot, slouching. Slunching isn't a word. So I'm always lengthening up and back. And uh, I tell you, it, it just creeps up on you. I'm like, well, I, I film all the time. I teach. I talk about it. Doesn't mean that I do it. I still get caught. You're my fave. Thanks, Ida. <laughs> I got lots for you. I've been teaching for over, uh, teaching classes about 12 years now. Been filming for a little over 10 years. So I've, I've accumulated a lot of stuff up here, a lot of experiences, worked with a lot of people, a lot of people all over the, all over the world, really. So it's fun for me to, to toss these things at you because there's always a way. There's always a way. It doesn't have to be like right now. Look at my shoulders. Look at that. It's terrible. Oh, when I'm home at my mom's house, I catch her on her. I walk in the parlor and she's on her laptop. And she'll just be like, she's getting a hump. She's, she's starting to hump. She doesn't even care anymore. I come in, mom, sit up. And I'm, yeah, uh huh. See, that's not good when they don't really care. She used to care more about it. She still does, but on the computer, she'll go on there and just scroll Facebook for like two or three hours. Like, what the? F what are you doing in here? Get outside. Kids become parents of their parents. <laughs> that's what I've experienced. And, and everyone else I've spoken to, my mother is that way. Yeah, it's, you know, you, you love your parents so much. And uh, I'm, it helped, like with my dad and my mom too, it really helped for parenting with Dane because you're, you're adjusting. You're, you're looking at practices like, oh, that's, that's really unhealthy. Why are you doing that? The healthy one is over here. You love walking. Why aren't you walking anymore? Why are you eating that? What do you mean you haven't eaten? Since uh, you had a bite of a bagel at 7 a.m., it's 2 in the afternoon, you haven't eaten anything? Are you nuts? You're 80 years old. What's wrong with you? So, uh, <laughs> but it's tact. I'm very good with tact. I know how to talk to people. But with my mom, you, know, you have to be very subtle. She's Danish and she's from Iowa, so she's very stubborn. You can't launch a broadside at her. We were just at in Wisconsin. My sister was there, too. She lives in Colorado now, but she did that one night. I'm like, what, what the hell are you doing, Kim? She just launched like kind of a telling my mom what to do, just getting kind of real bitchy about it and telling her what to do. I'm like, you have no idea how to talk to this woman. And my mom got really mad. And, you know, like with a child, sometimes you tell them to do something, then they're not going to do it. So with my mom, I, hey, we got you that membership at Anytime Fitness. Uh, have you gone over yet to walk on the treadmill? I know she hasn't, but it's a good way to get it out there. What part of the USA do you live? I am from... Holland. I'm in Colorado. 
I won't tell you too much because, you know, we don't want the helicopters to show up. But I'm in the front range of Colorado. Before that, I lived in Florida, right? Oh, I missed it. Scott, sorry. <laughs> it's right there with you, though. I think talking about parents. God bless my dad. My, you know, I lost my dad a little over two years ago. And uh, bad habits. So many bad habits. Uh, laugh out You can't launch a broadside at her. Exactly. But my sister, that's that's her style. It never works. I think her husband, that's how she talks to him sometimes. Yeah, do that. Do this. Do that. So doesn't translate to mom. You can't uh, you can't just say, would you would you do it? Because they don't want to they don't want to listen to that. Oh, but I was I was in the other room. I was on my laptop working on the book and I heard her just lay into my poor mom. Like this is not going to go over well at all, and it's it's ninety degrees out. My mom has no air conditioning in the house, so everyone was uncomfortable. You have fans on, but they're just blowing hot, humid air around while we're trying to watch Columbo and sweating all the way through it. That's why the bakery is so nice because you can go out there and get a little air conditioning. And my mom perks right up after that. Oh, how do we get on this topic? To me, fitness is life. Everything we do movement wise informs everything else we do in our life. So uh, I find that doing even stretches or a short flow unlocks so much of my brain, so much potential. I can remember things better. I can speak better. I can write better. Uh, how long could, should hit? What, oh, a, hit workouts. I think you're asking how long they should be. Uh, you know, Tabata is four minutes. Tabata is crazy. That's, uh, what is that? That's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four minutes. Uh, hit workouts. If you've never done them before, I would start doing short ones, do intervals, do, do a, say a mountain climber for 20 seconds. Get yourself a clock. I actually use a clock with hands, but you can use all sorts of apps for that. Do mountain climbers, 20 seconds. Stop. Take 10 to 20 seconds off. Do it again. Do it. Do four sets of that. Um, there's so many different cardio exercises you can do for HIIT workouts. If you're out on the road, if you like to run or walk, do sprint. Sprint for 10 seconds. Sprint to a mailbox, then walk to a mailbox. So around here in the mountains, you sprint to a bear, walk to an elk, and then sprint to another bear. That's how we do it. But a lot of these questions, I can't really answer those for you. How long? I don't know your what your fitness level is. I don't know what you've done before, but you can always, it's body weight, so you can try it out on your own take a mountain climber, something low impact and do it, rest, do it and, and see how you feel. And then once you, you build up a little bit, go on YouTube, type in Sean V cardio, Sean V hit Sean V Tabata. And I will, you can watch those videos, get a whole bunch of ideas for exercises also that work so much more of the body. Maybe eventually you want to go into burpees. Burpees are crazy or kick throughs or kick through burpees. Um, there's so many variations. And it's very exciting you're starting now because there's there's so many options. There's so many things to do. And it's body weight. Body weight stuff. Does that sound good? Mm. All right. If there's anything else, I'm going to go inside. I'm overheating. I have a lot of sunscreen on. It's only 70. But the Colorado sun is very intense. And there are no clouds. The clouds are way over there right now. Make sure I... Uh, I might ramble, but there's so much to say. There's Mount Evans back there. A little bit of snow still on, on her. 14,000 foot. What's this? I've been working out with you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why YouTube makes them. I, I will see all of these later, though, when I sign on to my computer and my laptop. So don't worry. Do you like kettlebells? Kettlebell workouts. I Type in Sean Vegan kettlebells. I have done a number of kettlebell workouts on YouTube. I love to use them in conjunction with my core workouts because you could take any, or not any, but most core exercises and add a kettlebell in there somehow. I just take a take a boat or a half boat, hold the kettlebell here. You can dip it. You can lift it and go out. There's a lot of options. Um, it's another weapon for your arsenal, kettlebells. YouTube is a great uh, training ground for that too. It's a great... Uh, who is that over there? Anyway, go to YouTube, type in kettlebells. Hi, Sean. Do you know? Oh, I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't. 
any yoga for routines directed towards grapplers, towards wrestlers. Hey, in uh, well, my new book flies for athletes. I'm, I am going to include wrestlers. Uh, I don't know if I filmed any, but grappling. Well, grappling. I used to wrestle in junior high. Uh, a lot of squat work. I would imagine a lot of chairs, a lot of core strength. Uh, definitely endurance training also. Go to YouTube. You're on YouTube. <laughs> Type in Sean Vig Power Yoga for Strength. I just did a seven-day Power Yoga Endurance Challenge. Check that out too. Sean Vig Power Yoga Endurance Challenge, seven days. And those will twist you around and put you in positions you never thought possible, which I know grappling, you never know where you're going to end up. Stomach, on, the, uh, on your feet, on your back. Um, I never had a workout like that. I still remember that seventh and eighth grade wrestling. I mean, just a minute long round would kill me because you're every part of you is firing at 100% the whole time in, in wrestling and in grappling. Very good skill to have. You ever have to subdue somebody? Yeah, so type power yoga. Can't go wrong. Sean Vig power Pilates, too. Those workouts will definitely give you an edge for your grappling. Great, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to head in. Great talking to everyone. Thanks for joining me. I uh, hope to see you next week. Uh, check out Instagram at Sean Vig Fitness. I will post on there. When are you going to do another stream? Well, hopefully, I, I was thinking maybe one of the last ones is next Tuesday. See, last week, last few weeks, I've had so many problems with the stream. Uh, it, it won't start. I, I, I come on late, and then halfway through, it disconnects. So I know it's frustrating for me. It's frustrating for you. And uh, I just wasn't sure about it. So uh, I plan to be here next Tuesday, and I'll give you further instructions, then, and I'll think of something fun to do also. But in the meantime, keep checking out my videos. Go to seansvault.com. And uh, I do a lot of short workouts on Instagram, too, where we can also interact there and do some stuff together using cellular connection or Wi-Fi. I believe this is the house Wi-Fi. Yeah. So it's today I think it's fine. All right. I got to go inside. Great being with all of you. This one went a little longer, but that's the way it goes. Spontaneous. Here comes the finger, though. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next week and stay in touch.